all mothers will warn you not to play with knives, but they never tell you about the chef. So I played it safe and stayed away from the weapon, ignorantly afraid of the pain it could cause, not knowing the danger of its user. So that day we met, I agreed to all your advances because I was unaware of where I would end up. When you held me and set me apart from my peers, it made me feel so special. I could not possibly imagine that moment when you cut me open, cut me open with one chop, right in the middle, just cut me open. Remove the dry leaves that protect my moist layers. Cut me open. Put the two halves next to one another and examine them. Not wide open, but cut in half, so examine them. What used to be an asymmetrical sphere covered in brown skin suddenly has more to it, because you cut me open. Take note of every layer, embraced by the next layer. Notice the alternating rings, the subtle greens, whites, and transparency. There is more to me when you cut me open. You cut me open, so notice. Take in my sharp scent, the one stinging your eyes since you cut me open. You can run me under cold water with the hopes of diluting my scent, my sting. But you cut me open, so inhale it and stay right at my two halves. Then chop, but just one half. Chop until I'm finely diced. Store the other half in the fridge only to forget it and only remember it when I have lost my crunch. You cut me open. Gather my dismembered parts with that knife, the one you so gracefully tore me apart with. You cut me open. Place the parts into a bowl while you warm the pan based with coconut oil, then empty me into this heat. Fry me with a low flame and watch me sizzle, releasing my scentful juices. This is what you came for. I am an onion after all. Move me around with a spatula to make sure I cook evenly. Add yellow, green, red peppers and mushrooms. Let it simmer. Throw us into a bowl and add whatever because even when I let you cut me in half, I am never good enough to be enjoyed just by myself. Never good enough in my bare form, but a meal is missing something without me. Then it's over. You are fully satisfied once you have consumed me and the others, the mushrooms, the peppers. You forget all about my other half and nothing in you is moved until you embrace your lover's face. She will ask what the smell on your hands is. Then you will see that it takes more than a thorough hand wash to rid your hands of the proof that you laid them on me, cut me in half, handled, then ate me.